Where's the team, uh, team Lineker? Uh, <laughs> Woo! 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 <laughs> okay, um, we're a team with uh, Joni, Anouk, uh, and James, and myself, Jerry, of course. Woo! Okay, during this presentation, I will uh, tell you something about uh, how we got started, what we were building, um, something about the technical challenges we chosen, uh, and something about uh, the, the, the personal goals. Um, now, how everything started, we, we, we came here the first day and we uh, described to each other what we wanted to learn, what, what our personal goals are, um, things that we wanted to, to do. For instance, uh, uh, someone wanted to learn how to present for a group. Not telling who, but <laughs> um, okay, somebody. Um, some people want to do a bit more technical skills, some people want to do a bit more how to communicate to other people, how to talk to people, how to give some uh, learnings. Uh, but how? how? How do we want to do this? Now we said, okay, how do you achieve those goals? Now uh, we said, okay, then we, let's do some, a lot of pair programming, some, some TDD to get some nice standards in there, uh, some machine learning for some reason, I don't know why. But that's not really. And we wanted to do that in, in, in a kind of a, uh, a web app or uh, yeah, something, uh, a kind of a website. Um, so then we had to decide what are we going to build. Uh, we already mentioned the machine learning. We had somebody who was proficient in machine learning. And everybody was actually quite enthusiastic about machine learning. So let's try to build something with, with that. So we've went out to search for a nice uh, database or data set to use for the machine learning um, and we found a nice data set with yolks. Yeah, let's choose the yolks to get machine learning started and maybe we can generate some nice new yolks. So we came up with a new name because Team Lineker didn't fit anymore, we became Team with Yolk and Lineker became the, the fifth member. <laughs> So then we then that okay what okay we now we know what we want to build so let's make a list of, of all the requirements and um, we made an, a big list of requirements and all the nice things and we then said okay this is nice we want to build them all but that's not possible so we made the list a bit smaller to the things we really really needed to achieve our goals to learn things and we said okay we need to be able to vote on jokes. We need to display a, a joke, and we need to, some mechanism to flag or delete jokes. Then some nice to have is also now. We, we started with an, a machine learning thing, so we want to generate jokes, and we tried to be to make funny jokes, but that didn't always work that well. We want to do a stack integration, and we want to do a text-to-speech uh, possibility. Okay, then some technical talents. Now yeah, we saw. Okay, let's use Laravel. We had somebody with a little bit of knowledge of, of Laravel already, and the rest of the team did not. Um, that's nice, new thing. Um, we wanted to. Do <laughs> we had a technical challenge with, with System D, but yeah, System D <laughs> was challenging for me. Uh, it broke my system uh, a couple of hours, more than a day actually. Uh, and we used the uh, Docker Compose to orchestrate that how, how our setup was working. Um, we had some knowledge inside the team, and some people who didn't even know about Docker at all. So it was a quite nice learning experience. Then we we decided we had the personal calls. The personal calls <coughs> were um, uh, divided a bit in two groups. We had two more senior people and two junior people. Uh, persons, sorry. Um, and uh, Anouk and, and Johnny were more, wanted to learn a bit more about the, the development process and about technical things and how to do things, how to get started. And James and myself wanted to learn how to communicate and how to talk to people and explain people and, and do some mentoring. So, with the development process, we said, okay, hey, let's do uh, Kitflow. Because Kitflow, uh, yeah, you have all those PRs, then the PRs uh, inspire discussions. So if we can talk about why do we things like this, what's the reason for adding a database field 
like that. Um, does it really need to be have the default or not? What's the structure? And that gave we had some an hour discussions about a simple adding of a database field. And that was a learning process for me because I needed to explain why things happened and not just do it. Um, we set out to do TDD, but that was a bit difficult and we, we ended up not doing it at all, sadly <laughs> enough. Uh, yeah. Okay, uh, Johnny, James, can you tell me something about your goals? Yes, um, so I think indeed the, the entire project was shaped around just our personal learnings, not where the product is only a tool to uh, get there. Uh, for me personally, I gain a lot of confidence in the possibility to understand new concepts and new frameworks and new languages. I'm fairly new to development and haven't worked with you know, a wide range of tooling. Uh, and here I noticed that I don't know through the discussions and the conversations and uh, that I picked up some things fairly quickly and actually got to, um, I think, apply them you know, in the third day to just go by myself and set up more APIs and do some more database migrations and do some more uh, nah, whatever things. So that was really cool and that gives me like much more confidence whenever I want to start a new project. I'm, I'm quite certain that I can, I don't know, just pick a new framework and try to, to get going. Um, I think that for me was definitely the biggest learning and uh, that's for me the biggest takeaway of, uh, of this week. So, one of the things that I aimed to set out in my original goals were to kind of help more of a mentoring role. So, because I have a bit more experience than Yoni, uh, I paired up with him and we did pair programming to kind of help with this knowledge share as such. Um, so that was kind of nice for myself to kind of like um, be in a bit more of a mentoring role as such. Um, what I actually learnt kind of like, and I also wanted to improve my communication skills as well, um, because before I came to WeCamp, I thought my like softer skills are lacking as typical developers. So, so I wanted to try and improve them and. What I actually kind of find. Yeah. yeah. So. So what I actually learned is that my actual communication skills aren't that bad, to be honest. It's just more. <laughs> <laughs> it's more of me, I guess, is the problem. So what I've actually learned is that by coming to WeCamp, um, the goals I originally had set out and I wanted to improve on aren't actually the goals I need to improve on. So now I'm kind of here, back at the beginning, wondering what I need to improve in. <laughs> <laughs> so I think I'm going to go home and have a nice long think about that. So. Cool. Anouk? Yeah, well, I have some uh, learning goals, and that's one uh, I want to learn how to uh, work with people you don't know, because, uh, yeah, it's, it was an ongoing goal, because, yeah, you go here and you will work on a project with people you don't know. And, yeah, it's fairly, uh, yeah, it went well, um, maybe because of the group. But I don't know. Um, it was a good experience. Um, I learned how to work with an unknown uh, data set and to put it in the um, database. I didn't do that yet. Um, I just always had to uh, make some uh, dummy data to put in a database. So that was really uh, nice to learn. And I had to work uh, sometimes with Laravel, but not that much because so uh, yeah I gained deeper of uh, in understanding of uh, Laravel. <laughs> cool. And for myself, I, I had the time to, to practice my mentoring skills again uh, a bit more and practice uh, preparing in, in, uh, in uh, as we start. Um, 
preparing a presentation and, and practice uh, to speak in public, which is something I thought. Uh, I found it a very nice experience and uh, I got back to you, come back to you for the public speaking part, but it's not done yet. <laughs> <coughs> oh, okay, um, now for a small demo. Uh, we prepared the demo uh, uh, in slides form. Uh, yeah, because the demo gods. Sorry? <laughs> demo gods. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, basically, when you uh, when you enter the site at the moment, uh, you get to the to this page and you see uh, a joke. You see where the source is coming from. When you press uh, and get a joke from from data source, you get a new random uh, <laughs> joke out of the, out of the database. Uh, can be better. Uh, when you select a different source, you get it from the advanced data source. Uh, if you want to flag uh, a joke as inappropriate, then <coughs> it will be notified and redirected to a new one, and thus this joke will never be shown again. Uh, I removed the joke for obvious reasons. Thank <laughs> you. Um, and this is, for instance, the type of jokes we got from our machine generated jokes, they didn't always make that much sense. But Those who can't read it. <laughs> I haven't spoken to my wife in eight months. I didn't Nintendo. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's... Yeah, so, there you go. <laughs> AI, it's gonna change the world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we did some uh, unfinished uh, Parts because yeah, we didn't finish everything we wanted. Uh, we didn't make the API publicly available. Uh, we didn't do any stack integration uh, for, the, yeah. for the jokes yet. We might do that in the future. Um, and at the moment, the, the uh, machine learning database with the I generated jokes are coming from a static file and not from the database. It would be nicer to, to generate it from the database because then you can train it a bit more in an, an, yeah, with new jokes or jokes which should not be allowed to slowly move away. Uh, and uh, yeah, also the integration <coughs> of the, the votes is not there yet. Okay? We, we joke! joke. <laughs>